Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. It has been quite a hot minute since we've been on here. And yes guys, today we've got to talk about a few things. The first thing is of course the Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Update. Which you can see quite a few of the decorations as we're passing by. And uh, I just want to say thank you to all who have been supporting the channel in my absence. And uh, also, I'm um, sorry that we haven't been doing as much live streams or content recently. I just recently finished up my um, film practicum with Pluto Pictures, which was loads and loads of fun, I must say. And, uh, well... It's because, it's because of that that I've been so busy lately. Plus, also, we just finished um, filming for one of our latest projects and are currently in the process of getting the next few set up, including a dock and such. But that's not your guys' concern right now. But today, we are going to be looking over the 30th anniversary D well, not DLC, it's a free update. And not only that, but we're also going to tour this lovely park that I've built using primarily the free update materials for pretty much all the stuff. Other than that, it's pretty much just Jurassic Park stuff, such as this lovely visitor center that we're heading straight for. And also a few guest facilities just to, you know, spice up the park. But this is basically like a mini tour video as well as a showcase video, which we will first go over the showcase, and we'll also talk about what I think is the future for this game, because some people are concerned that this game is now done, because with Jurassic World Evolution 1, when they did a Jurassic Park DLC slash update, that's when they ended the game. But Frontier has stated that they are still inclined to do much more content for us, like, I mean, a lot. According to their um, DLC list, they have about three coming out this year, or maybe even four. Plus, we may get something by the end of this month to celebrate um, the Jurassic World slash, well, all three Jurassic World films, because we just passed on both Jurassic World's 8th um, anniversary, and we passed on um, Jurassic World Dominion's anniversary, which I'm sorry I didn't really do anything to celebrate that stuff, guys. As I said, I was very, very busy. But um, Fallen Kingdoms is just around the corner, a few days away, so maybe I'll make a special video celebrating that. After all, Fallen Kingdom is one of my favorite of the films and such for a lot of reasons. But today we'll talk over briefly the um, new decorations, then we'll talk about what these new decorations could mean for future f updates or stuff, whether they be part of DLCs or just um, free updates as well. Because trust me guys, there is a lot of things here that tease the possibility of other decorations to come forth. And I think we'll start by looking at the JP decorations right about now. So here we are, folks. We are in the lineup, the introduction stage of all of the free update stuff. And as you can see, there's quite a few things, actually. Some quite surprising, which we'll start at the very beginning, which we've got a new selection of paths to go with the Jurassic World variants. The Jurassic World ones, we had the fancy path that was, like, nice, um wooden, then we got the concrete gray, and then we got a little dirtier, um, light gray, which is very similar to this one. This one's basically, like, the cheap path. Then we've got the, um, Jurassic Park concrete version, but this time it's more, um, lighter than the gray. And speaking of gray, the fancy Jurassic Park one is loaded with, um, stones and stuff overlaying each other, and as you can see, if we get nice and close, you can see that the Jurassic Park um, symbol and icon is there. And we've got three thicknesses for those ones and just um, regular for that. So now we've got loads of more for the path colorations, which for me, who's someone who loves going crazy with the path, not as much as Evolution Square, I bet, though, because she has the 
unmatched title of Crazy Path Lady. I can be, um, Psychopath Man. How about that? We'll go with that. But, if we move on, we go on to things that you may put on the path, including the lovely, stunning Jurassic Park, um, table and chairs from the original movie, the same kind of chairs that John Hammond and Ellie Sattler sat at when they shared a bit of ice cream and talked about control. And along with these, we get some isolated umbrellas, both up and down, which are very nice. So in case you just want to have um, an umbrella or something, say you're doing a little beach section and stuff and you just need an umbrella as if guests would be putting them up, then you've got them right here and such. Or, you know, you can just have them as like little shade spots. Though unfortunately we don't have um, benches, which is one thing that would have been really nice. Would have actually really loved if we could have had benches with these umbrellas as well, because they would have gone great together. But, here, we get something that was not expected, but highly welcomed, Mr. DNA. And also, yeah, I probably should have put him a little further than the next thing, because the next thing's kind of exposing what it is with all the flies running around it. But, I know some people were really hoping to get the, um, John Hammond statue and stuff, and I think that this Mr. DNA is a tease to that happening. Because, I feel like it is a possibility- ooh, Gallimimus in the background, yep, that's one of the things that are on this tour that will go on. But, Mr. DNA, it makes more sense for us to get Mr. DNA first, then John Hammond, because John Hammond's statue- that was for Jurassic World to honor him and such in the Innovation Center. Which, I know in the- fun fact, in the canon and stuff, Claire Deering was actually disappointed in the fact that the Innovation, Innovation Center was named the Samsung Innovation Center rather than the Hammond Innovation Center. And you can find this fact in the Evolution of Claire novel, which is actually quite a good book. But, in response to that, when she started working for Simon Masrani, they actually added in the John Hammond statue as a sign of respect. It was not in the Innovation Center originally, which, it's a nice thing to have for Claire Deering as a character, because her character arc is very similar to John Hammond, but in my opinion, sort of goes further than his character did. Which makes sense because she's had a trilogy plus a book to go for evolving. John Hammond's had a, one movie and also the um, Lost World where his character arc was complete for what it needed. Which isn't a bad thing guys, just don't make me sound like I'm saying that, no. John Hammond is great for his character arc, I mean, he's perfect in my opinion. See, even the Gallimimus agree, they're like, yeah, yeah, you keep talking about him, but who knows, one of the things that I think will happen in a future update is we'll probably get a Jurassic world update very similar to this but it'll be all jurassic world things and for some of these things i think they're teasing us that that's going to happen and this statue of mr dna is representing the jurassic world one which will be of john hammond but then we get to the real treasure the source of the flies something people who are loyal fans will be super happy of but just regular people who just enjoy the game are probably like, what the hell? But guys, we have it. We have the one big pile of dung. This is the poop from the Triceratops scene in Jurassic Park. Though fun fact, everyone seems to forget that there were actually quite a few mounds of poop. Which is why when we go on the tour, you'll see in the Triceratops enclosure, there's a little bit more than just one big pile of dung. But... And also, love the detail that it has of, like, flies just being around it and stuff. I don't think they make any noise and stuff, unless you get really close to it. But it's just a nice little detail for visually. I'd love to see if, like, it could- if animals could interact with it or something. Haven't tested that yet. But, now we get a little bit taller in the, um, department, and we have a new flag, which is, of course, when dinosaurs ruled the Earth. And this one, I believe, does, um... No, it doesn't light up, actually. I checked that. Some of these guys do actually have, um, custom lights. This guy is not one of them. And he goes great with the other four Jurassic Park flags that we got, um... 
I think we got them in the last update for like, I think when we got Malta and stuff. It was like a little free thing, but now we've got them, another one to the addition. And along with that, we have it in carved in stone, the Jurassic Park logo in a beautiful stone piece. And this one is one that I think we will get a Jurassic World version of in the future. I do hope we do at least like, or even a more clean version that's like Jurassic World and stuff, which just shows the different aesthetics they go through, which that's just my opinion. Or they could just change it to be Jurassic World and instead of Jurassic Park and make it pretty much the same. I'd be fine with that too, but this is gorgeous and a lovely planter to go with it, though it does not have it on the other side. So if you want to do um, two stones and stuff, I'd recommend flipping, having them both on one side of the path and then uh, flipping them each way. So people who are coming from one direction will see it on one side and people from the uh, coming from the other direction will see it on the other rock. That's just my opinion. And we actually have to kind of um, zoom out a little bit for this one. But we have a little new detail, which is the Jurassic Park pylons and stuff. So when you're using them for your power, you don't have to have the regular Jurassic World ones now. You can have these guys, which they look pretty nice, actually. I probably won't be using it too much and stuff, but, you know, it's just a nice little addition to have. And also, if we move on, speaking of additions, we have the classic Jurassic Park fencing, which I was kind of surprised that we didn't actually have. I never realized it until, like, they announced um, that we were getting the Jurassic Park fences. I was like, wait a minute, don't we already have them? Oh, yes, also one more thing I actually forgot to add to the line is we also have the Jurassic Park um, gate itself. Well, not the Jurassic Park gate, but the security gate that we had seen, um, Ellie, Ellie and Grant and Ian and all of them coming through when they first arrived, and we also saw Dennis Nedry go through, though, technically speaking, this one is actually smaller than the, um, than the one in the movie, because in the movie, both, um, Jeeps could actually fit in before they exited, which, a little size mistake, but you know what, it's, it's a small detail and stuff. But, if we move on, now we get into the things that are like really, really awesome. Which, we get these new, um, stone murals, which are very similar to like the interior of the visitor center and such such as like the glass mural and stuff, but, or like the fossils that are on the outside of the door arch as well. There's some on the inside as well, which is what this is going for. And these are awesome because like, they just are like amazing. Like they can be used for so many things. Like as you'll see on our tour later on, they are like amazing. And we get multiple versions of them. We get the solid ones and we also get a archway one, which this one is very like the Jurassic Park Visitor Center doors. And also, as an awesome thing, dinosaurs and, well, dinosaurs I th think small ones can, but I'm not 100% sure because I'll talk about that in a minute. But people can go through these and these decorations here, they can also go on the paths, they can go into the f enclosures, they can be the enclosures themselves they can do anything so like yeah you if you want to have people walking through this archway or like you want to do something fancy like that or something similar this will be perfect for you guys and i, w I am planning to make like a five tips video for like proper um exhibit slash enclosure ideas that could be done with these whether they be simple or something more creative with the touch these guys are awesome but there's one much better than the fossils themselves which is not this one but this one's awesome as well if say you want to go less straight with your paths and stuff and you want to add some curves and such 
this one is the one for you because this one actually does curve and also i do like that it's um not just the classic t-rex that's on the visitor center we've got spino skulls on these and also a few other fossils as well like some ammonites and stuff i wish they were a little bit more varied but you know it's a start maybe they could add some more and stuff and also i feel like for these we'll get some jurassic world styled ones as well which will be awesome but as i was saying there is one that's just even better and it is none other than the glass mural from inside the visitor center itself with the raptor and the parasaurolophus which are just gorgeous like this thing is awesome like you can have it on its own or stuff and there's been so many things that i've done with it already you'll see a few on the tour and such later but this is just like this is just beautiful like it's something that i never thought i wanted in the game like i've always said things that i've wanted but i realized that this is something that i wanted so bad and i really hope that they could do some more similar ones and stuff i know that this is the only one from jurassic park but it'd be nice if like they gave us like a jurassic world style one with like indominus rex or something something crazy like that you know what i mean but that might be in the future but it does give us that option and such then we move on to the environment improvement in my opinion we have none other than the very tree log that the gallimimus trampled over in their retreat from the t-rex while grant and the kids tim and lex watched on in horror and just l watched how rexy eats the gallimimus which was just well done well done and this is like one of the first um non-rock slash like proper live tree environment things that we have and this sort of leads me to believe that we will get more stuff like this as well like whether they be more fallen logs or stuff whether th thick or thin maybe we'll get some for each environment or stuff which would be so nice or like maybe we could get other terrain things like maybe skeletons that are like partially decomposed or like corpses that would be so good well, probably not like corpses but like skeletons at least for sure like parts of skeletons like mix this with the indominus rex one but make it for land you got me all on board with this guy now unfortunately the dinosaurs do not interact with this unfortunately like they walk around it and such but for anyone who is hoping to see a uh, gallimimus just um hop on over such like the gallimimus that are over this fence line unfortunately no they won't they'll just uh, be like uh i don't want to go near it it smells weird but still it's awesome and it does hold a lot of potential for more things to come for the future and speaking of the future look at these we have well we're gonna back up for both of these we have both the Amargosaur, no, Alamosaurus, sorry, it's Alamosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus Rex skeletons from the interior of the visitor center themselves. And the best thing about them is they are not combined. I mean, you can set them up where they do look exactly like they did in the, um, movie and such so like if you want them to be like in that same position and stuff and you want to build a path around it to basically symbolize it you can do that it gives you that option because their hitboxes are very easy like thank god but if you just want to have like the t-rex alone or something you can and stuff and for me this is awesome because it's no longer just the spinosaurus we have we had the spinosaurus skull then we got um the spinosaurus um statue from jurassic world which i'm hoping we get more than just these three as well like if we could get some other ones as well some smaller ones some maybe even some bigger ones like a brachiosaurus that would be just like ah, chef's kiss for me and like also guys these guys do light up as well so these will be awesome 
to use and like these are just amazing like you could have these like as like the signs for like which enclosure is um coming up like you've got the carnivore um country over here or the um sauropod sanctuary with the um alamosaurus like you could do so much with these guys now and the fact that they're separate is just the chef's kiss if they were together i'd still love them but they just knew that like we would want them separate for more opportunities for decorations and it is really well done i just hope we get more whether it starts as like a t-rex skull on a little shelf or something or if we get the lockwood um manners um fossil decorations as well oh my god that would be so amazing but moving on to one that really has me happy is this banner of when dinosaurs ruled the earth now in the movie um it was not hel held up by two pillars obviously but this is a nice setup for something I want to see in a Jurassic World update because one of the things that I've said repeatedly that I want to have added to the game is the, um, uh, what you call it, the, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom, um, archway, which this pretty much to me signifies that we are going to get that s someday, like, whether it's by the hopefully it's soon because if it's soon i get to use it but if not then i'll be very sad but this like gives us so many opportunities and this can also go on the path oh and so can these guys as well oh the gallimimus you guys better be careful like these guys are fossils but not too far away is a a, a real t-rex and she's probably hungry for some chicken and yeah, all of these can go on the path, except for like fences and, and the pylons, I believe. I'm not sure if the log can go on. I doubt it. It probably wouldn't make sense if it was on there. But if it does, nice bonus as well. You can have an abandoned park theme as well. Oh god, I'm tired. Uh, well, anyway. This banner, awesome. Chef's kiss, beautiful. And like, can go in enclosures and everything but now we get onto the other one that many fans have wanted for a long long time the jurassic park gates made for the path itself we've had them we've had both the jurassic park and the jurassic world one for the um tour rides and you could put them like separately if you want but you couldn't put them on the path because, like, they'd block off the path and such if they were. But these, this one, because its gates have been removed, is made for guests to use and walk through. So you can have this in the middle of your main street and such, and you'll have no issues. My only complaint about it, though, is when I was trying to get a thumbnail for, um this video or both of these videos actually because i might actually split this into two parts because i'm taking quite a bit of time here um this guy um unfortunately dinosaurs cannot walk through it counts it the same way it would be if it's a fence so it does provide you options where like you can have like guests walking like right up to it and they can see into an enclosure and you wouldn't have to worry about them being eaten but unfortunately if you want like a thumbnail of t-rex in the middle of this then you have to basically um do a lot of um editing in the photo to make it which is kind of unfortunate but it would be nice if they could update that also i do hope we get a jurassic world one of this as well because well it'd be nice to have our jurassic world parks also be able to have the gate as well but moving down we now have two more things we have these um emergency shelter here which house robert muldoon and um ellie sattler also should i be concerned that that um knob is kind of opening up oh god it's a raptor run oh jesus and anyway back to it <laughs> sorry guys i just tried to Get a little jump scare and, you know, get the Jurassic horror pumping in. 
again. But yeah, this is the um, shelter and stuff, and we do already have this as like um, an emergency shelter itself, but this one's like one that like, if say you wanna build an enclosure for like your raptors and such, and you wanna have this near, then you don't have to worry about getting a notification of like, hey, this thing ain't connected to the path, Sonny. And you get annoyed because of that, because then you have that icon at the top and it's bugging you. We've all been there. But, not only that, we also have the Pierce of Resistance for me. And this is the maintenance shed itself where Ray Arnold, Samuel L. Jackson's character, lost a little bit of himself. And also, I'm concerned with that blood and that door as well. It better not be- well, I know there was a raptor in there earlier, but we cleared it out days ago. There can't be more dinos in there. Right? Anyway, this is nice. It's another, um, scenery thing. These both also can be put on the path, or, as you can see, on the grass, which is awesome! And, like, this is just, like... All these things are amazing and stuff. I do hope we get a lot more for both Jurassic Park and Jurassic World decorations and stuff. Like, so many of these can be altered to have Jurassic World variants. Or, like, for the fossils, they could be, like, we could get a fossil DLC or update or stuff where it's all of them and such. The gate can be a Jurassic World gate. The archway for when dinosaurs ruled the Earth. Change that to T-Rex Kingdom as well. Also, we could get um, Jurassic World variants of the dinosaur signs as well. I really hope we do get all of that because it would be amazing. And, like, for whatever the future holds, I feel like for... Even though this Jurassic Park 30th anniversary, no offense, has kind of sucked. Like, other than the fans, like, literally on the day of Jurassic... Park's anniversary, all um, they did was literally post the original trailer, which was kind of... Well, it was sucky. Like, they could have done so much more. And they kind of set up for doing much more, but it is what it is. I hope that we get a lot more years with this game and stuff. I know some people are saying they want a third game, but, like, what's the point in us um, supporting this game for all that we've gotten already, and all the, that we will be getting. Like, what's the point? Like, no, let's get this game to be better than it is. It's already leagues better than Evolution 1 is, in both how the game, the developers have treated us as fans. It's been amazing and such, like, already. And let's not, like, fail them, as they're not failing us completely. Like. There, there's some things that I hope they do improve on for the game, but they are doing great. But, that is going to be it for this video. We're actually going to split the tour in... Well, actually, how long have we been recording? Okay, we've been recording for a lot longer than I was planning, so we're actually going to do a tour of, like, this Jurassic Park exhibit um, thing here on Isla Nubar. This little thing will be a little short tour um, later on, and if you guys enjoyed this video, I do appreciate the like, and I'll hope to see you for the next videos as well, and until next time guys, stay safe, happy Jurassic Park Anniversary, slash Jurassic World, slash Jurassic World Dominion, and also for when it comes out, Fallen Kingdom, and JP3, and all of them, and until next time guys, oh yeah, and Lost World, that already happened too, but until then, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.